as I've gotten further into YouTube, one thing I've wanted to be able to do is to be able to better track my projects. And my kind of preferred method of doing that at this point is a Kanban board. I have searched a couple times for open source Kanban boards and really haven't found anything beyond like a play project. So I've been using Obsidian. It's worked, but I'm not a fan of closed source if I can avoid it. And I just happened to do some searching on this, I think yesterday, and I found a program called Focal Board. So today we are gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna actually be installing it and testing it live. Like I have not done anything beyond kind of look at the user guide. So one thing I would note is that this, the app I'm gonna install is just gonna be this personal desktop version. They do have a version that you can actually install on a server. And they also have something that is more like for teams. And so like there is pricing and things like that if you need to, but I think the free tier here is actually pretty good. And uh, you can host that in the cloud or on a server. The add-ons like for things like this are things like LDAP and you know other sign-on methods. So it's pretty cool that, um, oh, I didn't even notice that uh, there's group sharing a screen share. That's pretty cool too. But um, the free tier is pretty good uh, in my opinion, if that's something you're looking to play around with for, with multiple people. But I'm gonna be using the desktop app. So what I need to do is head over to the GitHub page and I need to download the focal board uh, tar, Linux tar. I was seeing win and I was like, why? That doesn't make any sense. But let's go ahead and we'll get the, ah, here we go. I was looking at the first one and it just wasn't making any sense uh, as to why I wasn't there, but here we go. So we want to get the focal board Linux tar GZ right here. We're going to download that and we'll go ahead and pull that folder up. I didn't want to pull it up that way, but that's okay. And so here I'm going to go on ahead and copy this focal board over to here. And we're going to uh, then close this tab. And all we need to do from here is we just need to unpack the archive and open the Focal board app from within the Focal board app folder. So let's go ahead and extract this. You can obviously go into your, you can obviously go into your terminal and do it that way. But since most people are probably going to be using the GUI, I figured I'd do it that way. So we have the Focal board app, and let's see if we can go ahead and launch this. Pro properties, permissions, it is executable. So let's try to run this and see what happens. That's a good sign. Okay, so first thing is gonna be asking us to create a board. These are gonna be the types of kind of templates you have by default. I'm gonna create project tasks and let's see if there's anything better for what we're gonna to try to do. I don't think so. So let's uh, use this template. So we have not started in progress. We have blocked, we have completed and we have archived. And if I wanted to add things, I could. I could add another row and have it be something else. This is a progress tracker and you can get different views of this. We can also look at project priorities or we can look at task calendars. And so we could see where these are scheduled, similar in the way to something like Notion. But let's take a look at just for example, this identify dependencies. Let's see what this has. So again, very much like Notion, and that you have kind of a checklist and description. Uh, this is not quite what I wanna do. So let's say we're gonna start a new project and we're gonna start a video about, let's call this a focal board video. And the progress is, we're gonna go in progress and priority is high because it's supposed to be out tomorrow. The assignee we will make, I think I can just type maybe. Hmm, I'll have to figure out where I can actually create an assignee. Uh, due date, we're gonna make that tomorrow. Uh, created by, oh, it's, it's doing that. And then we can come down here and we can also add properties. Any properties that we add here, I believe are for everything on the board. So I could add something like media or a thumbnail or something like that. 
but I can also come down here and start adding content. And I could do, we can do text, images, dividers, and checkboxes. So let's say we have a checkbox. We have thumbnail. We have upload. Let's see what that actually looks like. It's a little dark. So there is actually a checkbox there though. One thing that I'm trying to see, new template from card. Ah, so notice we can come up here and we can say new template from card. So let's say that I had template or thumbnail upload. And then let's say I also had, I don't know, um, description. Let's say I had those three things and then I wanted to just add something like, oh, let's do a header or can I do a header? Can I do it this way? I think I can do it this way. So let's say I had header and I wanted to say um, intro and then I had another header and I wanted to say middle and then I had a final header and I wanted to say end. And so now I have those three headers and I can say this is the intro. Actually, let's not do that. Let's put an extra space or two in there. Let's put a space or two in there, space or two in there. And also let's do one more thing back over here. Insert above, here we go. We wanna insert above and I wanna insert a divider. That way we have kind of a nice little tweak between those and let's make this a template. Now I'm editing a template. So let's go ahead and close that. So we have a focal board video and here are the things that it's gonna have for me and I can uncheck and check these upload boxes, the descriptions. Um, I want to also see if I can create, I'll have to figure out where I go to create myself as an assignee, but so now I have a new, t a new one and I should be able to come down. Can I, do I have to come up here and click it? Hmm. I have to figure out how I can actually use that template. Oh, uh, let's delete that. Oh, I bet I have to click new over here. No. Interesting. Ah, here we go. So I have to click the little drop down and then I can create a new card that way. That is one thing um, I've seen about Notion is that like it actually gives you the option of what you actually wanna put down here. So you have to do it before that though. But still, that's pretty cool that it can actually do that. And I could create a new template right here if I do that. So if I had something else I could do, I could do that. But let's go ahead and figure out how we can actually add somebody as a assignee. Let's see what we need to do here. So we have a task overview. Interesting. That is one thing I can't seem to find here. So let's go to settings and we'll go to Oh, maybe not. We can import things, we can export. I can also create a new template from my board. So for example, if I had something that was a bit more generic, maybe I had uh, I had something where I had just the kind of the process that I wanted to do for all of my projects, and maybe like I was starting a podcast or something, then I could actually go and like duplicate the board as essentially as a template. Or maybe it's something where I have different projects that I wanna track a similar way. So maybe that would be it. But let's see, where can I actually, and we can delete the view, we can add a view. So let's add a, let's add a table view, but I can go in if I, if I don't want, for example, this estimated hours, if I don't want that viewable here, I can actually remove it from this particular view, I believe. So if I go up, for example, over to the table view now, uh, yeah, the task, the estimated hours is back. But if I want to really trim down a view and like I really only care about, you know, the estimated hours, then I can do that. I wonder if the lack of assignee is a limitation because I'm using the single user mode because obviously it doesn't expect, expect me to have somebody else to assign things to. That's a little strange, but let's see. Assign. I don't see anything. Dragging cards, editing cards, table views. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see anything. 
So I may have to actually doing that, but let me show you what's kind of cool about this. So if I go to this project tracker, right? And I have these tasks in pro progress. So if I say the focal board video is blocked and I move it over here, and then I go back and I go to my table view, all of a sudden focal board video, is gonna show blocked here as well. This is a different view of the same sort of data. And if I want to change the focal board video to a different status, if I change it to, for example, medium, it's gonna move here and it's gonna update everywhere else. It's back to medium now. And I could do estimated hours. I could, I could have a due date here. And if I open up the calendar, since I did set that due date, it's gonna show up tomorrow for this. And that untitled is there because I believe that's what I set the actual template to have. I would not wanna do that, but I'll delete that task. But yeah, so now I can go into this. I can go and make my notes. Intro is gonna be blah, blah, blah. Ramble. And then the middle is gonna be something awesome. And then the end is gonna be an ending. And actually it's gonna be an indie and then yeah. Just to, you know, go for full effect there. But we'll say that I have done the description. And so ideally, if I go back here to the progress tracker, instead of blocked, I could have something like recording. And then after that, I could have something like, let's call it, oops, I think that's the wrong thing. Hang on. Yep, that's the wrong thing. Uh, okay, so right now I have it recording. What if, can I type something here? Can I say, um, let's say editing. Yeah, so I can have editing be an actual status. Uh, at least I think I can. We are in editing for that one. So if I go back to progress tracker now, properties. Yeah, and so if I needed to, like I could add other things to this. And so I could see more things on my card. And that would be something where I could actually do that. But, uh, oh, you know what? I need to scroll over to the right. That's what the deal is. So now I can, at least maybe, I can move this over and put this here and there we go. One thing I, I can't like, oh, there we go. I can scroll with the, uh, the horizontal scroll wheel, but yeah. So now I have editing and I have recording and I have completed, which I would instead say is published. So I could have this and move this back and forth. If I wanted to have a bunch of notes about this then I can go in and I can add more notes. I can add pictures as you saw here, cause I could do insert and I could insert an image or a checkbox divider uh, text. Uh, I believe the text actually allows you to use some of the other markdown stuff. Like uh, I did the headers here with the double, with the two pound signs or two hashes, whichever you want to call them. And so, if I wanted to make something bold, I believe, or italics, I could do that. I think it's uh, two stars for bold. So I could do that. Um, I could do, you know, the basic stuff in Markdown for that. But that is, uh, that is kind of nice. I don't think I can do, is there a horizontal scroll maybe? I don't think I can do it again. No, but it, I don't know what happened there. That is, kind of the idea behind this. Uh, I think it's unfortunate if it, I really can't add an assignee, like that's kind of unfortunate because that could be something that people could actually use, you know, around their house. If, uh, you know, if some people really like Kanban for stuff like that, and that could be something they could use around their house without having to go through the whole setup of having something on a server and blah, blah, blah. So. I, if that's really the reason, and may, again, maybe I'm this. This is a brand new app to me. I literally have not opened it before this video, so it's entirely possible that there's something else I have to do to actually make this assignee work. But the way the status works, for example, I just typed it, 
Uh, so let's see if I can, can I even update created by? Yeah, see, I can't, I can't even update created by, uh, reload, maybe? Nope. So yeah, I may uh, submit that as feedback, but let's take a look at a different type of board. So let's say that I'm going to create a new category. We're going to try a test category, add board. This time we're going to call this, let's talk, try this content calendar and see what this is. I bet this is going to be something similar. Yeah. So this is similar. It's got a different, um, it's got a different setup, but for example here, see, I still can't assign that to anybody, but I do like that it has kind of the idea status. This is kind of similar to what I'm probably gonna end up setting up. I don't know if I'll use this app or not, but this is cool that it actually has this. So like it, it, it this one actually did come with some sort of, uh, some sort of template on it. And so like I can start entering research and I can start entering any plans and notes and stuff like that down here and Let's see if there are any other templates. There are not, but this new card, oh, that was actually not a template. That was just one that they had. So yeah, uh, but I could obviously update these to anything I wanted them to be. These are actually pretty solid, but the other statuses by default are due date, calendar, publish, ca publication calendar, and content list. So again, content list is kind of like the table view and the publication date, the due date, and all this, those are just, just like normal. So I'll take a look uh, before I actually publish this and see if I can tell if the person thing is just a glitch that I'm having or if that's actually intended to work that way. The other thing that I would say is it would be really nice if I could configure who these were created by in case I do want to upload this to a server. You can archive or Rather, you can export and actually push this data into a server. And so that would be a little awkward to have it be single user if you're pushing this data to a server. Also, the same thing for assigned. Like it would be really nice if I could actually go assign to people, even if they aren't necessarily reacting to it. Because it may be something where I've assigned a task to somebody else, but this is really just keeping track of it on my end. Anyway. This is Focal Board. I am going to be playing around with it a little bit more and just see if this is going to be a good fit for me. I like that the file is local and I like that it is open source. I am not as big of a fan of the fact that it is seems to be a somewhat proprietary format. If one note uh, that I saw here, let's switch back to the screen for just a second. Yeah. So you can export the arch and archive all your boards from this settings menu, right? This is handy to quickly back up snapshots or transfer them to different installations. For example, from a personal desktop to a server install, right? That's smart. But then it says, note, the archive does not currently include image and file attachment such as image is included in a card. So that could be a kind of a, a bummer if this is something that you're looking to, you know, play around with personally and then kind of push to a server, home lab or something. So that could be something to watch out for though. Ultimately though, I think the app's a pretty cool little idea. I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing how it develops. And if there's something else that I spot that I find really cool about it, I'll probably make another video about it. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I will see you next time.